Good evening. I'm Anna Rita Clore and welcome to Chiriqua. Before I start with tonight's legend, I want to wish you a happy new year, full of wealth and full of prosperity. Thank you so much for being part of this project. And let's enjoy tonight's legend. That is a legend about a Japanese chokai called Yuki Onna. Some weeks ago, I came back from Japan. I was asked to live there for six months by the company I work in. After adapting myself to everyday life there, I took advantage of winter vacations in order to go and ski in Hokkaido with my friends. Staying there was fun, comfortable and delightful. Then, while we were skiing, I saw something that caught my attention. It was a very beautiful woman wearing a white kimono. I decided to follow her. Maybe she was lost or she needed help. Suddenly, a ski instructor at high speed arrived to stop me. He told me that I was getting far away from the hotel limits and going farther would be dangerous. I nodded my head and went back. My friends were looking for me and were worried about me. Due to the fact, I suddenly went and without telling them anything. Once, inside the hotel, and with a little key, I told them what I saw. Tanaka, one of my friends, said, It seems to be that you saw the Yukiona. She is a yukai, a very beautiful woman who calls men to follow her and once with her, she freezes them. It is said that she just does it due to her own desire. Then, it is also said that she freezes men in order they stay with her forever. I had doubts about it. I didn't know what to believe, so I just focused on enjoying our stay. The next day, we decided to go out of the hotel to know and taste the local cuisine. Going out from a restaurant, I met a beautiful girl. She told me her name was Yukiko. I felt like I had seen her before, somewhere, but don't remember where. We passed the rest of the day with her. She didn't say much about herself, but we enjoyed being with her during the rest of the afternoon. Once we said goodbye, we were invited to ice skate in a nearby place. We accepted and we agreed to be there the next day. That night, I dreamt about Yukiona. I was following her until I saw myself frozen without being able to see her face. That day, to avoid thinking about my dream, I just dared it and enjoyed the day. There was a pond where we could ice skate and have fun for a while. Tanaka was the only one who remained with us. When the others decided to go for a coffee to keep warm, ice skating with Yukiko was a delight, as if she had been doing this or living wearing skates all her life. Tanaka go out of the place to rest a little. Yukiko and I continued skating and we were getting farther and farther from the shore. Suddenly, I just hear how the ice crunch and I fell down into the cold water. I just remember how I fought and dared to move. The cold water felt like many needles were passing throughout my body. I lost consciousness. When I woke up, I was in the hospital with Tanaka and my other friends. After the doctor's recommendations of noise ice skating on narrow ice and that I was kept under observation the whole night, we decided to go back home as soon as I got out of the hospital. I asked for Yukiko and according to what Tanaka told me, 
When I fell into the water, she disappeared among the trees, turning into a winter blizzard.